at the Save versus Save As feature in our file menu along with Print and then we'll take a quick look at the Quick Access Toolbar. So I'm going to my File Ribbon or File Tab and I don't have a name for this document yet, I haven't saved it anywhere. So I'm the first time you save something you can use Save or Save As and it will take you to the Save As dialog box because there's three things you have to decide when you save something. You have to decide where you want to save it, what you want to name it, and what type of document you want to, to have it as. Now if you just do the default, you save it as a DOCX because I'm using Word 2010 and it's the same in 2007. Their file extensions is .DOCX. If I want to save it as an older version, for example, Word 97 to 2003, it's a .doc. And so I can save that as that type. I can save it as a PDF in the newer versions, not in the older versions of Word. Or I can save it as a TXT file. TXT meaning very, very basic. Every computer in the world will be able to read a text, plain text file. All right, I'm going to just leave this as the default, the DOCX, and it you can see it defaults automatically to the My Docs area. And I don't want to save it there. I'm going to save it onto my flash drive that I have plugged in, and that's this um, F driver clip. And inside here, I have a folder called sailor.org or sailor slash org, and I'm going to open that up. And I'm just going to put the document in here, and I'm going to name it um, Practice. Practice 1. And I'm going to say OK. And when I say Save here, or hit the Enter key, my name up here under Documents 1 is going to change to um, whatever I named it right here, Practice 1. So I'll hit Save, and my now it's been saved as Practice 1. All right. Now that I've saved it, and I know where I've saved it, I'm going to just type my name here. And now I'm going to um, think about printing this. So I'm going to go back to the file ribbon or file menu, and I'm going to hit the print icon. Now this is 2010, so I'm seeing the backstage view. So here is my document and how it will print out. And I can just hit the print icon and it will print. If I want to make more than one copy, I can do that right here. Or if I had a long document, I could print certain pages. And you can see here on the screen, it says type page numbers and or page ranges separated by commas. So for example, if I wanted pages one through five, if this was a long document, then I could do one dash five. If I wanted only pages 1 and 3, I would use a 1 comma 3. So that would give me those pages. Um, the, you can see my default printer is an HP PSC 1300. So this is the default. If I had more than one printer, for example, if I was at work and I needed to choose a different printer, I would choose it in here. But you can see my default printer is the one I'm going to use. And then the only other thing, I tend not to use all of these. I would change all of these things in my Page Setup dialog box. Now, I don't use the Page Setup dialog box in here so much as I do that in the Page Layout ribbon itself under Page Setup dialog box. So I open the little window and it brings me to, back to exactly the same Page Setup dialog box I had in my print area, page setup dialog box. It's the same. So I would change the margins and all of that before I got into the print dialog box, but you can surely change them here too. So I want to print one copy of this. I would hit print. Now this is the quick print button. So I just hit print and hit that. Or you can see up here in my quick access toolbar, going to go up here, I have a print icon too, and that's quick print. I also have the save icon. So if I make changes to this, then all I have to do is hit the save icon here, and now my document is resaved with both of these lines in it. 
This quick access toolbar, it's easy to turn buttons on and off. I, you can see I have save, quick print, print preview, spelling and grammar. These are the buttons I have turned on. If I don't want my spelling button up here, if I don't want this turned on up here, I can turn it off by hitting that word again and then there's no check mark next to it. So I can turn it on. There's my recent file. Turn it off and it's gone. Or I can customize it. So I can say I want another certain command. For example, I want the find command on there. I can add that and say OK. Or if I don't want that on there, I can remove them. So I'll click remove and send it back. All right, so that's our quick access toolbar. So go to your word processing program, go to your file menu or file ribbon, and investigate your save and save as dialog box. See if you can find where to save something, what to name it, and what file to save it as. And then look at your print dialog box. See what options you have. The only other thing I'll say about this, and then we'll be done, is this printer properties. Now this is the properties for this HP printer. And so every printer will have different properties. But the only thing I do in here often, I have my paper quality as a default set on fast draft. You can see that it only uses 300 dots per inch, so it uses less ink. If I change it to normal, it uses 600 dots per inch, which is a lot and it's very nice for professional documents. So when I want something printed out to look really sharp and really true, I will use normal. But my everyday printing, I leave on fast draft, so I use less ink that way. All right, and then if you're using 2007 or 2010, go up to your quick access toolbar and customize it and add some new things to it. Turn them on, turn them off, and play around with it and get the, the commands up there that you would use often.